Gems, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm working on Flirty Friday, and um, um, we're gonna do some tag questions. We're going to do the shout outs. We're gonna do lots of stuff. Um, uh, this is a whip, and I'm gonna chat. So if you're new to diamond painting and you don't know what a whip and chat is. It's where I sit down and work on a painting and I just talk about stuff. And today we we're going to talk about, you know, SEX a little bit. Not too much. They're kind of like mild questions, I think. I didn't read them all, but I did kind of skim through them. Um, some of them aren't even that. So I'm using um, my pen that I got as a gift from uh, Coast Creations off of Etsy. Um, I will link them down below if I remember. Um, she put, gave me a five placer that I'm gonna try to use. Um, I'm gonna use my Bella Art de Detroit Cole, my mint green one. Um, I love Bella Art de Nicole. Um, it's not, it's not anything, um, New to the channel, I I just love her trays because I can shake them and they're not going to spill everywhere. I just love her trays. Like maybe they're not your jam, but they sure are my jam. And um, yeah, we're going to try to uh, finish up all these. I have this tip. I don't know if I'm going to like it instead of the other tip, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to fill in all these little um odds and ends and I have no idea like I'm having a very hard time reading this canvas which is a problem for sure um I don't know what that is what are you like um I'm thinking it may be a G because I can't read the G's. I don't know. I have to still go and talk. Maybe it's a C. I still got to go talk to, um, I don't know what it is. I still got to go talk to the pink raspberry and tell her, like, I don't know what kind of print you did on this, but it's not the clearest. It's not the clearest at all. I'm having a very hard time reading it. Um, she needs to change the fonts, I think, because some of them are very, very bad to, to read. This is just like odds and ends around, and then I can just do the black. I think I'm going to do a checkerboard because you know it's going to uh, look terrible if I use a multi-placer. <sighs> Even though probably some places I used a multi-placer, um, but I don't know. I feel like I can't use a multi-placer. Um, my week has gone pretty good. This is really early in the morning because I have to babysit. I say babysit, she's my granddaughter. But I have to watch Luna today for whatever reason, I do not know. My daughter is making me. Yesterday was a bad day for me. I broke my vape and I was having like a nick fit in the morning. I kind of snapped at everybody. Like, that man must love me. Because <laughs> I snapped at him. And I snapped at everybody. And I snapped at Alyssa. And, uh... Yeah. 
I snapped at everybody. And you know, Liz is the one to snap, but I tell you, when she don't got her, I don't know if it's the nicotine, because I only vape three. So that's not very much nicotine, but I guess over time it does, like you do get used to that. Like it's like having, you need your coffee in the morning. I just need, I just need a vape in the morning just to satisfy my need and I didn't have it and I was tripping. I was tripping hard and uh, I think, but like where I live, they don't go down to 1.5. And then maybe I should just try zero nicotine and see if that, like, I think I swear it's just the habit of like blowing it out of my mouth. Like, I don't even know anymore. And uh, I was like so tempted to smoke his cigarettes. I'm like, give me a smoke. But I didn't. I didn't do it. I didn't go out and get a smoke, but I was so tempted to because I was just tripping. I think it's the fear of not having it. It's my, it's my, it's my clutch, you know, that I have it. You know, I should stop, like at least like Susan Z says. But you know, I'm just not ready to stop yet. There will be a point. You know, I wasn't ready to quit, and then I was ready to quit smoking. And there'll be a point where I'll eventually be ready to do this too. I just don't know what to do with myself. That damn clock. I just want to shove that clock up someone's arse. <laughs> it's so annoying. It goes off every hour. So it must be six o'clock in the morning. I think it's off by eight minutes to tell you the honest truth. So, yeah, so that's pretty much <clears throat> my dilemma yesterday, didn't have vape, and then I know my niece used to vape, and then she quit vaping, and I know they've used to buy a lot of systems, and I'm like, oh, Chantal, do you have one of your old systems that I can borrow? I just need the bottom, I just need the mod. I have my, I have my dripper, I just need a mod. And she found one, and I'm like, praise, praise be. Praise be that she found this mod. So I don't kill my family, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, no. I think I just threw that one. We need an L. L, where's the L is? Oh, see so you no know, flipping now. Oh yes, it's right in front of my face. It's right in front of my face. It is. It is. Uh... Do you guys do this? Just go in and try to pick one, one gem out of the. Of course, I don't think I have enough sticky on this. Darn. Uh... And. So I'm not, it's not picking anything up. <laughs> oh, cause there's already one on there. Jeez, that's why I can't pick anything up. I go leave it to Liz to do something like that. That's why it wasn't picking up. I already had one on the end. I would have been here all day trying to lay it. Yes, I would. An eye. I see an eye. No, I think I need to change the wax. So we're going to change the wax while I talk to you. It's not really wax. I use micro dots. If you never heard of micro dots, um, I love them. And I'm on uh, Lisa, no, Susan Z gave me some micro dots and I used up all of hers and now I'm using up the ones I bought off of Amazon. And she bought me those, I think last year, not this year's birthday, but the, the year before his birthday. 
and I tell you, this this is a little bit wiggly. And this pen, ow, I just put this. Oh, these tweezers are all bent on the end, and then I just stabbed my finger. I think this pen, I can't figure out how many micro dots to put in it. I'm gonna put in two because I feel like that I shoved too much in these patriotic pens. If anybody has a patriotic tip, can you please tell me how many micro dots you put on the end? Because I'm not the only one that uses micro dots. And then uh, one of my girlfriends was watching my video. She's like, um, you never reload your pen. Like, aren't you supposed to put wax on the end of your pen? Like, she doesn't really know much about diamond painting. And I'm like, yeah, but I got, I use micro dots. So this is what I use. These micro dots that you use for, you buy them for like, I don't know, I think it's like an office supply. It's just called micro dots on Amazon. And uh, yeah, they work very well. Very, 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 very well. And, um, I don't know if I put enough in there, but two. We'll see how it goes, because sometimes if I put too much, then it pulls out when I'm trying to diamond paint, and that annoys me just as much. Oh, I just dropped that one in my tray. Let's see if I can get it to uh, turn over. It's not making the snappy noise. I like the snappy noise. I think I need one more micro dot. So you don't want to overfill it. Oh, I'm feeling a little bit nauseous right now. Too early in the morning for this garbage. I'm trying to figure things out. Yeah, so. That is what I've been up to. My vape broke. Then after I went there to pick it up, I filled it up right away, fixed my vape. I went to get some groceries. And I've had, I just did like a lot of things around the house. And I'm like, darn, being in a relationship is like, time consuming because I got to like actually cook and clean <laughs> and uh, don't get me wrong my kids are loving it because they don't have to cook but um, yeah it kind of woke me up a little bit woke me up of my little bit of a depression I was having there is a good thing or a bad thing I still have a cue whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't really know. But we will find out in time. Where is the cue? Right here. And I think I got all the little odds and ends done. Oh, there's an end. I'll do the end too. Oh, there's an R. See, O is fine. While I look around, I find stuff. I find lots of stuff. Oh, I got too many ends on here. Too many ends on the end of my pen. Oh, I dropped one. I don't know about this glue, guys. It's okay. This is poured glue from the pink raspberry. She's trying out pork glue. I'm pretty sure it's Canadian glue. Canadian, cause we're Canadian. We're Canadian here. And uh, I want to bring our are, 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 are you 
Are you lonesome tonight? Uh, uh. There. I don't know what that is, so. There I go. So now I think all I have left are the threes. Oh, I lied again. Darn it. <laughs> like, you guys thinking, Liz, you are crazy. It's okay. It's okay if you guys think I'm crazy. It wouldn't be a Lizzie show if I didn't have a little bit of crazy. I'm not drinking a Tim Hortons this morning, okay, guys? I'm drinking coffee from home. So, it still tastes pretty good, but there's nothing like a Timmy's. Um, okay, so we're going to start with the three, and um, I'm going to take a little break, and we're going to come back with the shoutouts, because I know you guys are excited to find out who got the shoutouts of the week. Let's go. Shoutouts of the week. Yay, yay, yay. So the first shout out goes to my Facebook group. So every Monday, I try to put it up every Monday. Look for the thing that says it's Friday shout outs. You post a picture, you vote for yourself, you vote for somebody else. If you're the first one there, go back later and vote for somebody else. Um, and vote for yourself. And um, ever since I told you guys to do that, I haven't had to do any tiebreakers, which is good. So with that said, there were seven entries this week. And the one that got the most likes was Gail. And she's doing a cute little gnome. It's a 40 by 40 square. It's super, super cute. Don't you think it looks cute? I think it looks cute. It's a very, very cute little gnome. With a little candy cane sticking out of somewhere. It's not out of his mouth, it's out of his hat. So it is really, really cute. And uh, thank you, Gail, for posting that cute little picture. I'm pretty sure there's a gnome um, kind of event going on right now. Um, I was not a part of it, even though I do have a gnome. I just got so much on my plate right now, I couldn't join that one. See, now I think I put too many in here, because now it won't stay. I don't know about this single placer from Patriotic. It just doesn't want to work with the glue dots. But it's a lot better, because the end... I think I just need to work with it more. So that is the shout out for the Facebook group. Now, uh, YouTube, I'm going to use Lisa B's from um, my Christmas collab where I told you guys all that I'm in a relationship now and she wrote, you can have all the octopus darlings. So if you watch the Christmas collab live, you'll understand what the octopus is all about. It was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. Susan was having a moment. <laughs> Susan was having a moment. She was getting very, very flirty. And it was only uh, Wednesday. Or no, it was Tuesday. It was last week or something. I don't even remember. But anyways, yeah. So that is the shout out of the week. I have them both written down on a piece of paper. 
I'm going to fold up their names right now in front of you. And um, I'm prepared today, guys. Are you excited? And here's my jar. It's getting pretty full. Like I said, the end of December, December 31st, I'm going to be drawing a name out of here. So it pays to post your pictures or comment. Um, comments are getting very, very slim again, and it's making me very, very sad. Because I want to I want to hear from you beautiful people. People that have never commented before, just let me know you're watching. Because that will make my day. That will brighten my day so, so much. Um, I'm feeling a little bit down on my channel right now. I feel like I'm not getting anywhere, and I'm getting kind of sad. So you guys need to lift my spirits and know... You know, Liz, keep on going. You're doing okay. You know, just give me a little pep talk. And I'll make it all better. I promise. If I can let go of these gems. But yeah, um, we'll come back with the tag questions. And here we go. And I'm back. So I'm going to do checkerboard. I know I'm doing circles, but I don't care because I still think that it looks choppy if I use my multiplicer. I don't know. It's just the way my brain, it's just the way my brain thinks. I think it looks choppy. I know it takes longer to do it this way, but I just feel like, obviously up here I can't do this, but I um, think it looks a lot more neater. I'm very OCD about this stuff. I hate it when my gems look crooked, and I know they do look crooked, but like here, especially on the line, oh my god, if I see somebody that has one out of place, like this one, I start tripping. <laughs> I don't know why, I just do, it's just me. You guys will, whoever goes to the retreat will realize this when they meet me, like, it's gotta be perfect. Anyway. So I get these tag questions from the internet. I don't put them down below because I can't be bothered, but whatever. It's a, it's a tagquestions.net if you want to look up any of these kind of things. Um, the first two questions are the same. I don't know if this person had a brain fart, <laughs> but uh, the two first two questions are the same. So I'll read it. It says, what is your biggest turn off in a person? turn off in a person hmm I think my biggest turn off in a person is if they're rude like if they're cocky you know what I mean cocky rude um, I hate cocky people really really much very so much um this is a five placer but i'm gonna put four right here just because it goes uneven um yeah my biggest turn off is like a guy that think he's like maybe full of himself you know like thinks he's all that in a bag of potato chips i don't like that i don't like that at all with like a sarcastic, you know, um, sarcastic way of thinking, you know. Do you guys get what I mean? Do you get it? I just don't like that. There's this guy at work that is like that and he just bugs the poop out of me. So yeah. That's what I don't like. Um, are you like your zodiac sign? I'm not sure what my zodiac sign means. I'm Leo the lion. Is it brave and stuff? Because like, I think I feel like a lion should be brave. Um, I'm not very brave sometimes. I'm kind of shy. I'm kind of shy. Um, once you get to know me, I'll talk your ear off. But, um, First impressions, very shy, very nervous, um, very, um, what does this person think? But then when I get to know you and I'm comfortable, I talk too much, um, you can just tell me to shut up because I do talk 
a lot. I got a lot of wind to talk. <laughs> I got a lot of talking to do. So, um, yeah, I think, I think that's what I'd say. If someone asked me, I'm going to put the one up there because I can. Because this is my painting and I can do whatever the heck I want. That's the fun part about it. Everybody diamond paints in their own special way. And this is the way I diamond paint. And if you guys um, diamond paint differently, there's no right or wrong to diamond painting. Not at all. This is just the way I prefer to diamond paint. You know, everybody has their unique style. Um, what? At what age did you realize Santa wasn't real? I don't even know, guys. I don't remember. I'm old. I'm a heck of old. So, like, I don't remember. I'm thinking at a very young age. Because, like I said... If you're new to my channel, you don't know anything about me. I was raised Portuguese Catholic. And um, my Portuguese culture, they party on Christmas Eve till midnight and they open up their presents. Well, when I was a kid, I'm like, well, why isn't Santa, gonna <laughs> Santa Claus coming? Like, I thought Santa Claus comes. Like, and I think that's why I don't realize Santa Claus was real, you know? Because we always went over to my, my parents' friends. Now, there's a T there that I missed. See, I always miss something, guys. My parents used to always go over to their friend's house, which I was, like, best friends with their daughter. Um, not so much anymore. But back then, when we were kids, we used to hang out a lot. Um, she's now married and has a kid, and she just lives down the road. But we don't even hang out anymore, which is kind of sad, but, you know, that's reality. She went her way, and I went my way, because she was older than me by a couple of years, um, she went to high school before me and everything, and she went to, she went to the uh, public high school, and I went to the Catholic high school, so I didn't even see her at high school, you know what I mean? I know, I said I was going to use multi-placer, but I lie, I lie like a rug. <clears throat> so, what was I getting at? Oh, Santa Claus, oh geez, that just came right out, that is not good. <laughs> I told you it was loose. Um, Santa Claus. So I'd go over to her house every Christmas Eve with my parents. And I'd watch her open up all her lovely presents. And she always got what she asked for. And like, my parents never did that. So it was kind of sad. Because I never got presents like she did. But, like, I was grateful. I never complained about it. And if I did, I don't remember. Maybe my mom would know more, but can't ask my mom because she's not here any longer. My mom was not one for spending money. She would not buy us stuff. Like, um, I was lucky to get uh, two new outfits at the beginning of the school year. Like, my mom was not one for materialistic things. Um, if you go to other Portuguese houses, they have a lot of knickknacks and they have plastic on their furniture and you can't sit on a certain living room set. Like, total Portuguese. Like, my aunt was like this too. And I know other people. And they have two kitchens and there's a kitchen that they don't use. And they used the kitchen in the basement and typical Portuguese. We used to have two kitchens here. I pulled the one out from downstairs and I just used the little one upstairs. Um, my mom never used the one upstairs. 
but it was very, very small. It was not like my cut, my aunt next door. She had a big kitchen upstairs that she started using like when, when they get older, they start using them because they don't want to go downstairs, but um, plastic on the furniture, knickknacks, doilies, you have it. My mom was not one for stuff like that. She was just plain Jane cheap. If you want to call it, my, my mom was cheap. She was cheap, but we weren't very, we weren't very rich. And then when she hurt herself at work and she couldn't work anymore, then it got really tight around here because it was only my dad's income. And then all the money she saved for us to go to college and university got spent for us to like live off of basically until she got her money. She got she got paid back from the government when she actually got approved for a disability. And yeah, that was, uh, that was a big day for my mom. She was so happy that she got actually approved. She broke her tailbone at work and then she couldn't work. She was a sewer at a slipper factory and she couldn't sew anymore. Her back, her back hurt so much. So yeah that is uh what happened with my mom but my mom was not one for you know uh material things you know she was she was my mom and i loved her so much I miss her every day. But this is not what we're talking about, is it? This isn't getting any prettier, is it? This was a darn question to put in here. <laughs> so, at what age have, at what age did you have your first sexual experience? So, I was 18. It was with my husband. Um, not in my wedding day, which my parents thought it was <laughs> but it was not we had sex before we got married um and uh it wasn't that great <laughs> i'm not gonna lie uh yeah it wasn't that great of course i don't remember having sex with that man too much I kind of maybe i blocked it from my memories i don't know because I don't remember. I don't remember too much of my marriage. I don't know if I blocked it out of my memory or what. Because he was not a nice man to me. That is for sure. At what age did you have a first kiss? You're not going to believe this, but it was 18 as well. And it wasn't for my husband. Um, I did a lot at 18. <laughs> um, it was a boy... A Portuguese boy that was way older than me and uh, like back then it felt like it was way older but really in actual fact it wasn't it was like maybe maybe four years or something but like later on in life you think oh that's not too bad right but when you're a teenager you think oh my parents are not gonna approve of this but anyways he so had a crush on me and uh he was the first boy i ever I ever really kissed i kissed frank okay but frank wasn't really my first first like you know at a wedding when you have the champagne dance i don't know if you guys know the champagne dance where people put their arms down and you go under and then they kiss and you keep on going like that all the i did that with frank but and he said I had sloppy kisses. So that kind of made me deter <laughs> of kissing. But I've heard now that I'm a good kisser. So back then, you know, it was my first experience of giving a peck. Maybe I was doing it wrong. Or maybe I wanted more than just a peck. I don't know what was going on there. But it could be just him. Maybe he slobbered on himself. And he just doesn't remember. I don't know. Because I think I'm a really good kisser. And, you know, I've had some really bad kisses. I ain't gonna lie. 
some really bad ones. So, yeah. Uh, at what age did you have your first crush and who was it with? So my first crush was with Frank. He was my neighbor. He lived two doors down from me. His parents still live there. Um, sadly, Frank passed away with a brain tumor um, before COVID hit. So I'm thinking it was in 2019. I have his obituary thing over there in the drawer. I can't remember what year. But Frank was a super, super nice guy. Um, he was my neighbor. He played guitar. Um, he did have a little bit of a stutter, but that's okay. Um, I don't know if that has to do with anything with his brain tumor. Like, Lord, who knows how long he's had this brain tumor. I don't even know. But he had surgery on it, and uh, he didn't stay calm after the surgery, and I think it caused him to end up having a stroke. I don't know. There was complications, and he passed away, which is very sad because he left a lot of young kids behind. Um, he was divorced. But he was dating my sister. Then they broke up before he found out he had a brain tumor. And it was really bizarre because it kind of it kind of peed me off that he liked my sister, you know. And I was the one that had a crush on him all through high school. And he ends up with my sister. How bizarre is that, right? Um... But anyways, he really liked my sister. But he, I guess, I think the brain tumor was affecting his personality. And it shined. And then I think that's why they broke up. Um, I'm not too sure why they broke up. But anyway, he really did like her. What is the best compliment you have ever received? Hmm. I don't really know. Um, my boyfriend compliments me every day, but um, this is not going to be. It should, does it have to be like with the man? Because like I got complimented at work, so. And that made my day. It makes you want to uh, try harder, you know, at work when they actually take notice of the way you work. I like that. I get complimented all the time on my special abilities. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, God, I'm choking, guys. <laughs> I'm choking. Uh, I kill myself. Literally. Uh, what is the best sex you ever had? I'm not answering this question. Because. Uh, <laughs> way to incriminate myself. <laughs> so I'm not going to answer this question. Um, I like it. I like it all. So. Now, if they ask me my worst one, I've had a few of those. <laughs> a few of those, for sure. Um, what is the biggest lie you ever told? I don't like to lie. Um, I feel guilty when I'm lying. I feel guilty when I'm deceiving somebody. Um, the truth always comes out. The truth always comes out, people. No matter what you think. Um, like, my lie saying I'm feeling sick and I'm not. Like, I don't, like, make a huge big lie about life. Other than, you know, the small things. You know, maybe I lie because I don't want to talk to somebody. Um, I don't know. 
I don't know. Or I avoid the person. Okay, I'll take a little break. So, do you have any hidden piercings? If yes, where? No, but I used to have a tongue piercing. And it's not really hidden. Well, it kind of is because it's in your mouth. But I don't have it anymore because it was ruining my teeth. So I got rid of it. Um, my boyfriend was sad when I got rid of it. But I did. I did get rid of my tongue ring. Plus, I can't have it where I work right now. So it was just for the better. I couldn't wear it at the... When we were that paintball, I could have it. And that's when I got it. And then... When we changed to pharmaceutical, you weren't allowed to have it in your mouth anymore. I took it out for a weekend shift and then I couldn't get it back in because I forgot to put it in at night. So I just said, screw it. And I did not put it back in again. And yeah, that's why I don't have a tongue ring anymore. Plus, you know, plaque builds up on the bottom ball and it's really gross. Yeah, so <laughs> if you're thinking about a tongue ring, uh, think again. Uh, yeah. I didn't, I've never got my belly button pierced because it's not something I want to, you know, show the world. I never got my nipples pierced because that sounds like it hurt like really bad. And yeah, none of that. Um, my phone keeps on turning off. Um, do you have any tattoos? And if yes, um, what is their meaning? Yes, I have two tattoos on my back. One says never look back. Um, you know, met of my past relationships, you know, don't look back at what happened in those past relationships. Um, I don't like it because the font is horrible. I had a friend do it. Now my friend has, you know, a tattoo gun and like clean needles, you know made sure everything was legit but he's not like a professional tattoo artist and i think they were horribly done i would like to get them re something done over top of it because i do not like it and yeah i know it hurts to go over scar tissue so that's why i've been debating i feel like he went too deep and it hurt really bad and then i have a butterfly on my back that i never got him to finish and then it has two like tribal things on the sides. I don't even know what they are, but it's it's huge on the on the upper part of my back. This is all on the upper part of my back. Never look back. It's like behind my neck. I don't like it. It looks faded now. Everybody says, and it's hard to read. Um, I really want to get it recovered. And then I have this one that was done professionally in town by tattoo artist and it says best friends and this is for me and my friend Mo um, I've talked about her before she is my best friend in the whole wide world she has one but she got hers over top of her breast and I got mine on my arm so yeah I really enjoyed this tattoo more than the one on my back I'm like, oh, is this how it really is supposed to feel? Not so deep into my skin that it's killing me? Oh, yeah, this feels so much better. So, but I don't, I don't think I'll ever get another tattoo, honestly. I'd like to cover the one in my back and then that's it. I don't know what I, it'd have to be a really big piece and that would be super expensive. So right now, it just stays the same. Do you miss someone right now? Yes, I do. I miss a lot of people. Um, I miss my boyfriend because he's at work. I miss talking to my buddy, Billy, because I haven't been able to talk to him very much. And yes, my boyfriend knows about Billy, and yes, he knows that we're friends. And I told him, you know, Billy was here for me all through COVID and I'm not going to stop being friends with Billy and you just got to live with it. So that is that. <laughs> um, do you smoke? 
Uh, no, but I vape. I think I talked a little bit about what happened to my vape yesterday and I had a nicotine fit. Yep, yeah, I vape. To your knowledge, have you ever been cheated on? Yes, I have. I have been cheated on. Um, let's see. My first, my ex-husband never cheated on me. But then the first boyfriend I had after my husband, Jay. Oh, I love Jay so much. I did. He was a really good guy. But he couldn't keep his pecker in his pants. And he cheated on me a few times. And then I took him back one of the times. And then, uh. So then I got rudely interrupted by Alyssa. She didn't know I was filming. <clears throat> she's getting up for school and she's like, Do I have to take the bus? I'm like, Yeah, because I'm watching Luna today and I'm not carrying Luna out in the cold to take you to school for five seconds so you can go and take the school bus um so jay he couldn't he cheated on me with one of my friends and then i didn't learn my lesson <laughs> obviously he cheated on me a lot like there's times like back then he used to have a pager and oh my god would i page the heck out of that pager when he didn't come home after the bar to the point where he got sick and then he would call me it's like oh i spent the night at my parents like bullshit you did you did not spend the night at your parents but anyway <laughs> um and then finally there's this neighbor and I lived in I like a co-op. I don't know if you know co-op living, but it's a whole bunch of townhouses and you have to join committees and stuff and you get your rent for cheap. I was on gear didn't come back then because you know single mom well, I wasn't really single because Jay was living with me, but he we weren't making very much money, so we're still on gear didn't come when he lived there. And uh they hound us so much that he finally joined because he kept on saying he kept on saying he lives at his parents but it got to the point where they were just hounding us too much they just said fine I'll just join get them off our backs so that's what he did and uh, I don't know if anybody I don't know if they have co-op living in the United States or not but they do here so anyways we're living there and there's this girl, her name was Gwen and she lived to kind of like, kind of kitty corner cause it kind of went like in a square and then it had a cul-de-sac. So I was over here and she was over here. So kind of like kitty corner. So she didn't have a washer and dryer in her unit. So she'd go to the common unit to go wash her clothes every Sunday. And she'd walk by the window and he'd be like, damn, Gwen, Gwenny's looking fine today. And I got so mad. I'd say, geez, if you think she's so hot, why don't you go be with her? Well, he took my sink to hurt and he left me for her. And they were together for a while and then she left him for another guy. So I kind of laughed in his face. I'm like, yeah, now you know how it feels. We're still friends. Like, right now he's got two kids and he's living with a girl he never did marry her and he has two children now he always told me that we'd never be together forever because he wanted someone that had no children and i had children not that he didn't love my children because he really really did he was really really good to my kids and i'm not just saying this because he knows i have a channel <laughs> He was. He was really good to my kids. And, um, he was a good guy all the way around. Other than he couldn't, he couldn't stay faithful. I don't know if he stays faithful to this new girl or not. He's never asked me, so I don't know. Um, maybe he's changed. 
Maybe growing up changed him, right? Because when I dated him, I was in my 20s. You know, I was young. Um, but he was my first true love, I find. I never think I loved my husband, but I really did love him. Um, I don't think he loved me back. But I think that's another question. But, um, yeah. So, you know, a lot of our relationship was over just... Um, friends with benefits it was never we're in a relationship but it really was a relationship if you think about it he was there all the time like friends with benefits you don't stick around and hang out and do life things with them you know like he did with me so I don't know if they were ashamed to be dating me or what that's how I feel, and that's why I have so so much low self-esteem. That's why the relationship I'm in now is so much different. And then I was with Raymond, and he cheated on me with a girl from work. And then he cheated on me again. Um, I don't know why I keep on going back to these guys. He cheated on me. I think two times is a strike for me. Um... He left, he left her, and then I thought we are going to get back together. Then he told me he met a girl in London, and I'm like, you know what, I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not going to be the other woman. I'm not, I'm not going to be with you and her, you know what I mean? Like, I think he wanted his pie, he needed it too, you know what I mean? I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. And then I never heard from him for eight years. And then she passed away. And then he came around again, so then I started dating him again, and everything was fine, but he doesn't, like, <sighs> Raymond doesn't like children, even though he has a daughter of his own, but he never really raised her, um, and that was the downfall of our relationship, plus he cheated on me with the girl he's with now. And I bet she sure regrets that because he can't stand her now. <laughs> and he can't get rid of her. Like, I'm not the one, like, I'm not the one, the type of girl that the guy says, I don't want to be with you, and I stick around, and I'm here. Like, you know what I mean? If you don't want to be with me, then I'll go. Like, I don't want to burden you. And I don't want to be in a relationship that you hate me. You know what I mean? Like... I'm just that type of person, like, you don't want to be with me? Fine, I'll leave, like, no biggie, I'm not one of these girls say, no, I'm not leaving, I'm going to stay here and make your life miserable. I'm not like that. If you don't like me and you don't want to be with me, I know where the door is. And I have a house, so it doesn't really matter, right? Um... Have you ever been in a physical fight? No, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Never been in a fight. Have you ever been in a relationship? I just answered those questions. I was married. I was in a relationship with Jay, with Raymond, and now with my new boyfriend. I don't want to say his name yet. <laughs> my new boyfriend, and, uh, yeah. I, uh, been in a few relationships. Have you ever been in love? I was in love with all three of these people. Um, I don't think I was in love with Jay, with my ex-husband Jay. I don't think I was in love with this guy Dave that I dated. Oh, that was a horrible relationship. I don't think I ever loved him as well. Um, and then the, the next question is, have you ever been and loved by someone you didn't love back. Um, yeah. There was a guy that really loved me. And I did not really love him back. And uh, I just stayed with him because I didn't want to be alone. And that's a selfish thing for me to do. But I did. Uh... 
Have you ever loved someone that didn't love you back? Yes, like Jay Norley, Raymond. I love them both, but I don't think they loved me back. Um, and that's probably why I those relationships did not last. It's the worst feeling to love someone and not be loved back. But I'm going to leave it at that. That was 21 questions. And I'll read the rest. There's like... There's like, oh, a lot of questions. So we're going to leave it at 20. We're going to leave it at 22. And we'll read the rest. The next Flirty Friday. Um, I think you're getting to know a little bit about my relationships and my life. My life is an open book. I should write a book about my life. It'd probably be a bestseller. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But um, I hope I got enough of Flirty Friday for you guys this week. And I hope to see you guys next week. There goes our darn clock again. Ugh. Uh, remember before it used to be the fridge? Now it's that darn clock. Yeah. <laughs> and we didn't hear a train. Must not be any trains this hour. With that said, I'll let you guys go. Until next time, take care, everyone. And uh, be happy. And don't forget, if you want to be a sloth, if you want to be a sloth, join my YouTube channel. I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do a giveaway in the new year for my members. I'm gonna start doing some giveaways um, to say my thank you to you guys. Um, so if you wanna be a member of my channel, go hit that join button and you'll be on the sloth video. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yeah, it would be super, super cool. <laughs> With that said, take care everyone. Bye. Well, folks, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel. I be super tickle pink. And remember to hit that notification bell and it will remind you whenever I load up a video. And till next time, take care, everyone. Bye.